a cane for Grandma. Grandma, from high up on the rooftop, could see everything that was going on, and she didn't like what she saw. She wanted to be the center of attention, and nobody was taking the slightest notice of her. George and Mr. Cranky were running around and getting excited about the enormous animals. Mrs. Cranky was washing up in the kitchen, and Grandma was all alone on the roof. Hey, you, she shouted. George, give me a cup of tea this minute, you idle little beast. Don't listen to the old goat, Mr. Cranky said. She's stuck where she is, and a good thing, too. But we can't leave her up there, Dad, George said. What if it rains? George, Grandma yelled. Oh, you horrible little boy. You disgusting little worm. Fetch me a cup of tea at once and slice of currant cake. We'll have to get her out, Dad, George said. She won't give us any peace if we don't. Mr. Cranky came outside and she Mrs. Cranky came outside and she agreed with George. She's my own mother, she said. She's a pain in the neck, Mr. Cranky said. Well, I don't care, Miss Cranky said. I'm not leaving my own mother sticking up through the roof for the rest of her life. So in the end, Mr. Cranky telephoned the crane company and asked them to send their biggest crane out to the house at once. The crane arrived one hour later. It was on wheels and there were two men inside it. The crane men climbed up onto the roof and put ropes under grandma's arms. Then she was lifted right up through the roof. In a way, the medicine had done grandma good. It had not made her any less grumpy. It had not done grandma any good. It had not made her any less grumpy or bad tempered. But it seemed to have cured all her aches and pains and she was suddenly as frisky as a ferret. As soon as the crane had lowered her to the ground, she ran over to George's huge pony, Jack Frost, and jumped onto his back. This ancient old hag, who was now as tall as the house, then galloped, out of, galloped about the farm on the gigantic pony, jumping over trees and sheds and shouting, Out of my way! Clear the deck! Stand back, all you miserable midgets, or I'll trample you to death! And other silly things like that. But because Grandma was now much too tall to get back into the house, she had to sleep that night in the hay barn with the mice and the rats.